All right, today we are introducing a brand new series called My Mom Can't Cook. Two daughters wrote in about their mother's less than desirable skills in the kitchen, and we have enlisted the help of Iron Chef Kat Cora here to help them out. Kat, thanks for being Thank here. You. All right. You've met yes. the moms already. Uh -huh. What are the major issues with the two of them? Well, you know, I think the major issues in cooking in general today is, you know, two of the most used proteins are chicken and salmon, mm -hmm. and that's what people have the most trouble with. They're also some of the easier ones if you have the tips and the tools to use, you know, to work with, and some of the healthier options. Is it because they overcook them? Because I know when I cook chicken, I'm so worried about salmonella and right. that stuff that I, it has to be rubber for it to be okay. Right. Basically. <laughs> it has to bounce. Exactly. <laughs> Once. Yeah, absolutely. I think people fear overcooking. Mm -hmm. um, they're not marinating it or marinating or doing something to make it moist and keep it moist. Um, and I also think, you know, just really, if you're cleaning your areas and you're not cross contaminating, you don't have to worry as much about having a foodborne illness. Okay. Well, I always thought that I was a good cook. I don't like to cook, but I always <laughs> thought I was a good cook. But apparently when my kids doesn't agree, sent in this video, I don't know which one it is. Take a look. Hi, Mom. I'm sorry to do this to you, but you know, you're out here teaching all these moms how to cook around the country, and that's great. It really is, but I think maybe it's time that we teach you how to make something new. I think everyone in the family, we're all a little sick of the two, three meals that you know how to make, especially your angel hair pasta with the canned sauce. You make it for us all the time and it tastes like, well, well it doesn't really taste like anything at all. So Kat, <laughs> please, if you would, can you teach my mom how to make something new with just a little bit of flavor? That would be great and we'd all be eternally grateful to you. <laughs> wow, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I disagree with him. No, I get a little angry. I get a little angry because I actually don't think I'm that bad. But show me what I'm, what I should have been doing. Okay, so I started with olive oil and I caramelized some onions. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna put in some minced garlic. It's delicious. Okay. That's that's called deliciousness in a pan. Okay. That, oh, look. right. Side yeah. With thank her. you. Yeah, okay. Thank you up there. Yeah. So now what I'm gonna do is now that I've got this all caramelized, the garlic is in there. What I'm gonna do is start adding tomato sauce and chopped tomato. And I've also, before we even got started, what I did was I took turkey bacon, because it's healthier, and then add your tomato in, okay? So what I'm gonna do is mix that in. What about all this garbage Oregano, here? a little bit of garbage in there. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit of that? garbage, Oregano. like fresh herbs. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. whatever. <laughs> Okay, what is that? That's parsley? Little, uh, this is a little thyme and oregano. Oh, thyme, okay. All right, oregano okay. go in. So, audience, help me out here. Does this start to look good or what? All right, you know, now, now. All right. Optional, optional Thick, is heavy. a little chili. A little bit of chili, which to, I like to, spice. So to make it hot. The hot, nice okay, and spicy, yeah. if you like it. So a little chili in there. Mm -hmm. And then bucatini. This is a tube pasta. Basically, it's like spaghetti, but it's got a, it's a tube. It's a perchatelli or bucatini that you can find. Why you not know, keep in the here. angel hair, just out of curiosity? Well, I'll tell you why, because this really holds up and holds the sauce. Angel hair does as well. Uh -huh. Angel hair cooks super fast, okay. and you can overcook it really easily. The angel hair, okay. Which is probably what's happened in a few, few situations. I'm not I'm not talking about Meredith, I'm no, just talking about in general. Exactly. general. So just pasta, I mean, just serve this family style because it's such a family style, delicious dish. You know, just spread that around, serve it, yum. A little bit of pecorino on top. I mean, this is just, I mean, this is a great pasta. Okay, all right. Now let's put a little bit of, okay. you know, fancy it up a little bit. You okay, know? Let, me, let me taste it. You all should right, taste it too. Here we go. I don't trust you. You put it in your <laughs> mouth too. I, I promise not. I will. Well, how do you even get on the fork? You, just, you just roll it. Right. Roll it on the fork. Oh my God. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Big bite there. You know what? I'm going to tell you the truth. It's lousy. No, I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you the truth. It's very good. All right. It is better than mine. It is really better than mine, I have to say. And it's I'm really teasing good. you because you're such a good buddy. But I want to let people know that you just don't teach people how to cook. You do a lot more than that. You're dedicated to fighting hunger in America. Yes. Started a nonprofit called Chefs for Humanity, and you have a new campaign actually with Cher. Yes. We're starting a campaign with her, um, Hunger in America. We're launching in Madison Square Garden December 10th and 15th. We're launching a mobile giving campaign with Cher and Chefs for Humanity. My charity is her go-to charity that she's chosen to partner with, and we're partnering with Wholesome Wave, and what we're going to do is we're starting a program for everyone who's on um, food stamps, SNAP who can go to farmer's markets all over the country, and if you show your food stamps, you can get two for one fruits or vegetables. That's fabulous. So double the, double that the is fabulous. Helping families eat healthier, 
giving them an option. So, yeah, we're yeah. excited. I take back everything I said. <laughs> All right, Kat, no, thank you so we much. We go way back. We go we way, way this. back. And this, this is really good. Awesome. Kat is actually going to head backstage to help out our moms who can't cook, and we're going to meet them and see their recipes later in the show. And for these recipes here, including the salad and the garlic bread, all of that, mm -hmm. more information on Chefs for Humanity, go to MeredithVierraShow.com.